my thrifting sourcing day and I just thought I would make a quick video and maybe some little clips from my day of shopping and thrifting uh, let you know what it's like in my area and I live in a little town um, 30 minutes from my shopping area that I usually go to and I love the town where I'm going <laughs> it's where I want to move to um, but it's uh, 38 years of driving to this town I so want to move there because uh, everything I do is there except my church is down here where I live that's pretty much the only reason I live here <laughs> and some of my kids live down in this area but I do have five kids and uh, they're all grown gone we're empty nesters but anyway um, I'm going to go I've got the let me see if I can uh, without getting my finger, there's the uh, FedEx box that's going to the FedEx. Now, I've never been to this place that um, I'm going to, to drop off. I've, I think I told you all in the video the other day that I've been selling online since 2005. Excuse me as I back out of my driveway. There's a tree back there. I always have to make sure I don't hit it. Um, but I have never shipped anything FedEx. Yes, because my mail lady comes and picks up my mail. Look, right there. <laughs> so I don't have to go UPS and FedEx. And if I do, I have to go to that town 30 minutes away. Well, I've never uh, been to this. Of course, Dollar General's and Walgreens, I believe. Um, let me turn you all around. You can see up my road. Um, we live on a dead end. But Walgreens and Dollar General accept um, FedEx packages around here. Except we, the only store we have in our little town is a Dollar General we got a couple years ago. We were all so happy. It, it's not on the list, so I guess they don't take FedEx packages. But anyway, I'm going to a little print shop. I'm hoping they don't require me to wear a mask to drop this off. And hopefully it goes smoothly. So... Um, I live in a little addition down here. It's a little country town, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Most people haven't even heard of my town. It's about an hour um, east, I guess, of Oklahoma City. But anyway, so usually on my shopping day, what I do, I'm going to put this on my steering wheel so if I can drive and talk at the same time. Because <laughs> I ordered, okay, y'all, I ordered it. Last night on Amazon, my daughter had given me um, some money for Mother's Day, and I still hadn't used it. I forgot because it was like an email gift card. It wasn't a gift card I actually, you know, had in my hand, and I totally forgot about it. And um, I needed to order. I need got to get on the highway. I needed to order um, some iPad screensavers, not screensavers. You know the matte screen protectors, protectors. For my iPad because I play this game and it just eats up eats up my my um, iPad screen protectors and I needed to order some pencil my I, Apple pencil tips well I had some little bit of money left over so I ordered uh, a phone thing for my car so I can video on the phone I don't have to hold the phone like I'm doing now I have one but it vibrates so bad when you try to I did one video on it and it vibrated so bad you couldn't hardly see tell see the video um, anyway so I'm driving away <laughs> long stretch of highway before I get to the town but anyway uh, usually what I do on my shopping day is oh my arms get tired I'm a wimp y'all sorry if this gets a little crooked, it's because the steering wheel's turning. Um, I go to my thrift store first, because it's my favorite thing to do. And um, I usually spend a good hour in there, sometimes an hour and a half. Um, and then I go, if I don't get a good, if I don't get, usually I get enough stuff to last me listing for a week in there. But if for some reason, if I don't, if it's slim pickings or something, I go to Goodwill, but I don't hardly ever have to go to Goodwill. Um, and then I do my grocery shopping. And while I'm doing my Walmart shopping, 
part of my grocery shopping. I usually do some RA in there and some retail arbitrage and try to find some, you know, I go through everything and see if there's anything on clearance that I could resell. That's all kind of new to me. I usually didn't do that. I usually went to Walmart and just got my groceries and stuff. But today is my first time to go to Walmart without, well, they're having the mask requirement and I don't wear a mask. So, but people have said they're going in there without masks. So I'm going to try it. I don't know. I do have a medication to pick up there at the pharmacy. So I was, they do have an area outside that you can pull up and it's just for pharmacy and it has a number and you call. It's kind of like picking up your groceries, but it's for picking up pharmacy. It's on the total opposite end of the parking lot than the groceries. But anyway, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to go in some other stores today. Uh, Aldi in our area is not doing the mask thing until next week. So I have this week to shop in Aldi. You know, guys, I don't know what kind of cars y'all have, but if y'all have a car that has this, oh, what is it called? Uh, let me see. What's it called? Um... Um, where where it slows down, it's a cruise control where it, it slows down to the car in front of you. It matches their speed so you don't, like, you know, you're not constantly having to be on the brake. It's, it's, it's life-changing. I'm telling you. We, we have this car, and I've gotten so used to it, I'm afraid that if I ever get another car and it doesn't have it, that I'm, going, I'm not going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be forgetting that I have to put my foot on the brake to slow down. But this adjusts to the speed. Y'all got to get a car like has that in it. A lot of cars have it now. Um, if you don't have one, you know, if you ever go shopping for a car and you can get a car that has that. Now, a lot of, I know a lot of people don't use it, but it if you use your cruise a lot, it is life changing. We went on a trip uh, to Tennessee right after we got this car and we was on it's, it's pretty much a straight shot to i-40 the whole way and we never had to hardly ever use our brakes unless we were going to stop at a light or a stop sign or or turn um anyway it's pretty cool y'all i need to get if you if you go shopping for a car you know try to get one with that that didn't have anything to do with reselling but okay i might make some more clips today i don't know how much room i have on my phone but um, if I can, I'll get some more clips today of, of my shopping trip. See y'all later. Hi y'all. I'm just leaving my Salvation Army. And this is my second load. And it's going in the car. I got a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of good stuff. Oh, my finger's over the thing. Yeah. Oh. So, I already loaded up a real pretty picture for my house. And a whole nother uh, TJ Maxx big giant shopping bag of clothes. So I got a pretty good haul, my Salvation Army. It's not very big. I was gonna, I forgot to film for y'all in there. I was going to, and I forgot. I'm not used to doing this. Um, so, but anyway, I'm gonna see if I can put some of this in the back of my car. It's very hot, y'all, very hot. So I'll see y'all when I get to the next store, maybe. Well, I dropped the FedEx package off at this easy ship and copy. It clearly says must wear a mask, but it didn't say anything when I walked in without one. So that was a success. I'm very hot. Can you tell? I'm very, very hot. I get hot like this and I can't cool down and those masks make it even worse. And then my anxiety keeps in, or my claustrophobia kicks in, which gives me an anxiety attack. <laughs> So, but anyway, I got that shipped. Finally, I'm glad to get that out of my car. So, that's that was the next stop. Hi, y'all. I have to make sure this is going because I made you a long video the other day and it wasn't even recording. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. I thought it was recording. I've got the second half, but I can't find the first part. I I'm sorry if y'all can hear the uh, air conditioner in my car. Um, I'll try to hold it over here. Maybe it won't blow on it so much, but it's really hot and I'm trying to cool off. But I think I'm going to, I wanted to have a question for y'all. Um, 
do y'all, I heard recently, now I've never done this, but have y'all heard that, or maybe y'all do it, please let me know. And I know y'all can't give tax advice, so I, I understand that. But that if you're over 30 miles from home and you have to eat while you're out sourcing and thrifting, that you can uh, submit those receipts for your taxes. And I think you get to count off 50% of your, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. Do y'all do that? Because it's usually, and I think it's just you. Like if my husband, sometimes he's with me, that you can't count his food, just mine. But I've been keeping my receipts just recently. Half the year's already gone. But um, let me know in the comments if y'all um, do that or you know if that's true or not. So I'm going to stop at Chick-fil-A. I think and just get me a quick, cheap chicken sandwich. Um, and because I've still got to do my grocery shopping. And we're coming up on Chick-fil-A. And Aldi is across the street. <laughs> so, I am going to kill two birds with one stone right here, close together. Then after this, after I get done at Aldi and do my grocery shopping, I'm going to try to get in Walmart without a mask. I can't, if they won't let me in with, with a ma without a mask, I'm not going in there. Because I feel like I'm suffocating and I get claustrophobia and I'm really hot. And anyway, so I'm going to go through the drive through now. I uh, just wanted to ask y'all that question because I'm usually gone for about six, six or seven hours and I have to eat in that time. And I didn't know if it was true that you could, um, you know, take your food off of your taxes or not. So let me know in the comments, okay? Y'all look at these cute masks they have at Chick-fil-A. It's the cow masks. Can you see them? Can you see them? I guess it looks like y'all can see them on my video. Y'all, there's like two lanes. I have to go. There's two lanes packed here. They're taking our orders at the window of your car. Okay, y'all, I'm in Aldi's. Does it look like y'all's Aldi's? <laughs> no masks until next week. But I wanted to show y'all. It's something we really like here. Have you ever tried these? It's the red beans and rice, New Orleans style. That's really good. My husband and I really like them. I don't need any, but I was going to show y'all because I know it doesn't related to seller <laughs> content, but I told y'all on this channel, I'm going to have my daily life too. Um, so no one's hardly wearing masks in here. A few people. Um, do y'all buy a lot of stuff at Aldi or do you have Aldi where you live? Um, let me see. Uh, it's pretty stocked. Um, that's the toilet paper and stuff. I know when I go to, when I go to Walmart, the last time I was in Walmart, they didn't hardly have any toilet paper except the Great Value brand. And the rest of it was all, um, empty. So, doing my shopping. Take my bags couple bags it's so hot here y'all I'd have to take ice in my cooler and everything okay just letting y'all know about the red be uh, the beans and rice it's pretty good well I'm in Walmart without a mask I was walking up the thing and the lady stopped me and said ma'am do you have a mask with you I said I can't wear a mask and she's oh fine and just wave me on in. So, I was afraid I was gonna have to skip Walmart. How can I do retail arbitrage in Walmart if I can't get in Walmart? <laughs> so I'm just glad I'm in here. I thought I'd report to y'all. And for those of you that do wear masks, please don't take any offense um, by this. Um, I'll talk more about that later, but I can't talk about it at Walmart. <laughs> okay, see you later. Well, I thought we would go check out the clearance row here in Walmart. Usually not much on it. Not very much. A bunch of filters for cars. Just scan those. And candles. Formula. Which I heard somebody was selling formula. 
I'll go back and look at this stuff. I'm just kind of showing y'all. Not much in here, actually. A lot of bear stuff. Those cleats have been in here forever. So, anyway, that's pretty much our clearance section. Not a whole lot in it. Okay, I'm going to look at this stuff individually and scan some stuff. We'll see if we get anything. I've been doing this for 38 years, y'all. Filling up water jugs. Not always here at Walmart, but we used to get them at five gallon jugs at the before they got them at Walmart. I've been doing that for 38 years, hauling water, because we don't drink the water in our town. So I get it at the machine at Walmart. It gets old, but I'm glad to have clean water. Be thankful, right? I'm on my way home trying to cool off in this car <laughs> I got all cooled off and then I saw a big old giant yard sale on the one of the side roads I used to go home and I just had to stop because it was huge and the only thing I bought there because I just couldn't stay in the heat much longer they had tons of stuff to go through um, and I already have a car full of stuff y'all I'm trying to uh, when I I'll try I wouldn't have to explain it to y'all I only thing I bought was this for a quarter Y'all know what these are, these little Sony tape recorders. I got it for a quarter. They said it worked, but I'll have to put batteries in it and see. So I'm halfway home and um, fixing to turn. I got quite a few things today. I, got, I have actually a car load of stuff. Um, I may have spent too much at Walmart. I don't know. I mean, I looked everything up that, that, that I bought up but, um, you know, when things go on clearance, me and everybody else is going to be listing, buying this clearance stuff and listing it. So you have to be fast. So I have to get home. The first things I will list are the things that I got on clearance at Walmart because they are the things that people will be listing. You need to get yours up first. Um, so, but anyway, I did get a carload of stuff. Can you see this big picture behind me? You can't really see it, but it's really big. It's about as big as, well, it's pretty big. I got it for 99 cents. You can't see it. It's really pretty. If I hang in, if I decide to hang it up in my dining room, I'll show y'all. Um, but I'm thinking I might do a video maybe tomorrow or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I may do a video on what all I got today. I don't. I don't really enjoy watching haul videos, so <laughs> I don't know that, but I know some people do. So, um, I mean, I'm not going to show you all, all the clothes and everything. I didn't get anything spectacular on clothing, but I did get some, you know, some hard goods and stuff. So I may make a video um, on my haul, maybe tomorrow or something. But I do have more videos coming, y'all. It takes a very long time, like a whole day and night, for me to upload one video usually to YouTube after I make it. So, and I have to go in, if the videos like today's, which a whole bunch of clips, I have to go in and put them in my video editor and, and put them all together uh, to make them one video. So that takes time. And then when I get it done, it takes a day and a night usually to upload it from my computer to YouTube. I know. So that's what, I had another YouTube channel that I was really enjoying making videos. I was enjoying it so much. And I did a couple months. I did a video a day, y'all, every day for a couple months. But nobody watched them. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> every once in a while, one of my grandkids or my kids would get on there and watch one. But finally, I'm like, no, it's just taking too much of my time. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm trying to get home and... Uh, about the time I get cooled off, it'll all be home. And then we have to unload the car. Except my husband does that. So I just hold the door open for him. But anyway, usually after I get home from this all day shopping trip, it's gonna be six o'clock before I get home. And that's about six hours I was gone. And usually my body is rebels once I get home. And I just, once I sit down, it's, it, it just rebels. It doesn't wanna get back up and it hurts a lot. So. But I really enjoy, enjoy my day out. It's usually the only day I go to town. So I'm home the other 
you know, days of the week, except I do go to church on Sunday and Wednesday night. So, all right, I'm going to go. Talk to you later. Okay, so that's what, is this what y'all's look, table looks like when you get back from grocery shopping? <laughs> I love cherries, y'all. I got, when I can get cherries, I get them. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all my haul. Please ignore everything. This is uh, everything I got today. Squished into one. All those Walmart sacks. It all looks all tiny in here. That's a giant Ikea bag and it's full. That's a big bag of stuff and it's full. And these are a new puzzle in there and some things. Um, this is really full of stuff. So, um, now I'm trying to cool off. My husband just, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have a husband to carry all my stuff in. Because <laughs> oh, I just can't do it, y'all. I just can't do it. <sighs> anyway, I'm cooling off now. And I'm going to put up my, I like to get these eggs at Aldi. I have a lady I can get fresh eggs from. These are the cage-free organic, well, they're supposed to be the organic ones. Anyway, I go to Aldi and uh, I have a lady I can get fresh eggs from here in town, but she, her chickens have, aren't laying because it's so hot. I mean, they're laying, just laying enough for them. So anyway, I'm gonna go now. I gotta put all these little clips together that I've done. And uh, I might get to do that tonight, I don't know, we'll see. I gotta, like usually when I come home, I have to sit down and, and I get in my pajamas and I try to sit down where it's the coolest place in the house and uh, try to cool off. So that's what I'm gonna do. So maybe I'll get this video done for y'all quickly. I don't know, we'll see.